Do you want pure stock Android experience on a G3? Well, here's how. I feel paralyzed. Hello everyone, it's Techies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Sanja Mod 14.1, the custom ROM in your LG G3. This ROM is uh, quite special because you could have the same experience, the Android 7.1 in your G3. So here's how to do it. Unfortunately, your G3 needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. So I already made a video addressing these two things, how to root your G3 and then install a custom recovery. So if you can click here, you can find out more on that. So once you have your G3 rooted and have a custom recovery installed, you can proceed with this tutorial. Okay, first of all, let's move on to your computer. And then you need to go to this page. That's uh, the official Science Mod downloads page for your LG G3 D855. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out. Okay, so over here we have the nightly downloads. Uh, what these nightly downloads are that Cyanogen mod is constantly updating their software or their ROM almost every single day. So every day they are going to fix new bugs, uh, new issues and then uh, make the software more compatible to your device and make uh, and allow your device to experience uh, more of the features that the stock Android provides. So when this first came out, it was a bit buggy, but now I think it's quite safe uh, and quite stable enough, at least for LG G3s. I've been uh, using this ROM for quite a while and I haven't really experienced any major bugs other than the rare crashes of uh, some applications. I am definitely okay with using it as a daily driver. So go ahead and download the latest nightly into your computer. All right. Okay, so while that downloads, let's just focus on to your device. Okay, since you will be installing a custom uh, ROM, I uh, recommend you back up your data first. Uh, and obviously, if you have a custom recovery on, there's a special way. So let's go ahead and power this off. All right, power off. Okay, and then go ahead and boot into recovery mode so now that it's powered off let's boot into recovery if you're not familiar with the way and i'll just show you how to okay all you need to do is hold the power button and the volume down button together until the lg logo appears and then once it appears just let go for for a second and then hold them all those two buttons again so let's go hold these two and then when the logo appears release and press them again Just hold it until you get to the screen and then once you're on the screen use the buttons at the back to navigate and then confirm yes yes again and then you should boot into the recovery after this all right so now once you're in the recovery go ahead go to the backup and then back up straight away your boot, your system and your data. The cache is uh, optional and it's better to boot, back up everything. So go ahead and swipe the backup. Okay, so once you're done backing up, go back to your home screen, the home screen of the recovery. All right, now, once you're done backing up, your download should have been completed and then go ahead and connect your G3 into the computer using the USB cable and then go jump into the computer this PC let me just quickly show you where the backup is located go ahead and click on G3 and then go to internal storage and in the in there you should be able to find this folder called twrp 
click on that and over here you have backups now I recommend you make a copy of this folder in your computer somewhere so if this is deleted by accident or if, if this is accidentally deleted you can easily replace this and restore it using the mobile so once you're done with that okay now let's go check on the download here is the science mod 14.1 ROM that we just downloaded and of course itself is not enough you need to download the Google Apps I'll leave the link in the description below where I could find this file you need to get this file as well and then it's pretty straightforward after this you need to copy these files and then go to your computer then go to your mobile the G3 internal storage and just paste them right in the internal storage all right so once everything has been copied onto your internal storage you can now remove the cable and then go to mobile unlock okay now first thing we need to do is go to wipe and then go to advanced wipe especially since you have been using the stock firmware of your LG G3 go ahead and wipe the Dalvi cache the system uh, the data and leave the internal storage alone because the required files are right there uh, again uh, of course when you install this you're gonna lose all your data so it's a good thing that you have backed them up especially your pictures your music and everything back them up before you do the step so go ahead and swipe to wipe all right so once that is done go back to your home and now you're gonna start installing the new software the new firmware go ahead and click on install right over here and then scroll down look for your CM 14.1 so go ahead and click on that and then you need to go ahead and add more zips and then select the G apps that you just downloaded and click on that now once you have selected that you can go ahead and swipe to flash okay now that you're done with that go ahead and reboot to system Okay, so once your device boots, you can go ahead and select your language and then connect to your Wi Fi. I'm gonna skip that just to quickly show you next next start all right so now you are officially using the cyanogen mod 14.1 rom and then this is this is basically android 7.1 you get let me just show you quickly what your settings are and then about phone android version and here we have the nougat android nougat 7.1 well <laughs> okay so this on its own is quite stable i must say and uh, obviously performance is much much better than what you had before everything is more snappier faster smoother also battery life is gonna be noticeably better i recommend you upgrading well, updating twice a week if you only if you feel like that you need to if you feel like 
there's something wrong with the device there's something uh, is there, if there is if there's any bugs or if the software is feeling unresponsive go ahead and update uh, updating process is of course it's gonna be similar you cannot gain OTA updates or as known as uh, over the uh, updates so to update you need to go back to the website and then download the latest nightly and using the same process go ahead and install now you have your LG G3 that's running on Android 7.1 I'll be showing you how to convert your mobile into a pixel very soon so stay tuned for that if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you loved it please subscribe i have great content that's coming along the way so stay tuned for all of that and as always peace